morning and happy Friday everyone. Rose Ward, StampersDelight.com. Thank you so much for joining me. Hop on, say hi, let me know where you're from, especially let me know if it's your first time watching. And also don't forget to share my videos. So, it's Friday, I'm so glad it's Friday. Today what I'm going to show you is the paper pumpkin for this month. And if you don't get the paper pumpkin, you're still going to want to stay tuned because... I have some great ideas for you. So again, hop on, say hi, and let me know you're watching. Hi, Tammy. How are you this morning? Yes, happy Friday. Happy Friday. So I'm not seeing anybody else, but I know there's a delay. There we go. Good morning, Bonnie, Diana, Deb. All right, so we're going to get started. Grab your coffee, grab your tea, and come stamp with me. Okay, good morning, Shirley and Patricia. So let me flip my camera. And again, RoseWardStampersDelight.com. If you'd like to order from me, just go to StampersDelight.com. My host code will be next. Or if you'd like to email me, it's RubberRosy at Optimum.net. And this is my host code for the month of November. Can you believe November's almost over with already from Western New York all right Maureen so that's my host code for the month okay a couple of things before we get started don't want to I want to remind you that the uh, curvy celebrations uh, special is still going on till uh, November 30th you can get the whole bundle for seventy dollars and fifty cents US that includes this uh, limited set of curvy Christmas and of course the DSP, Designer Series Paper. This set will be in the next catalog along with the dies. And with that, if you order it from me, you get a card kit with three cards to make and a free tutorial. I only have two left, so the next two people that order that Curvy Celebrations from me will get that free. Okay, so. Also, if you'd like, if you don't have a demonstrator, I'd love to be your demonstrator. So uh, just let me know and I can put you on my mailing list. Also, if you'd like to join my team, I have a great team, I have to say. Sorry, I do. Um, but, um, you know, we have, we have a lot of things going on on our team. We have card swaps. We have a Facebook page just for the team. We do Zoom chats. So I would love to have you as part of my team. And if you've ever thought about signing up with Stampin' Up, now is the time. Okay. One more sip of coffee. Let me drag this down a little bit so you can see better. And here is the paper pumpkin. This is for November, November's paper pumpkin. And it's called Jolly Gingerbread. And inside you get a cute little uh, blushing bride in spot. You get these adorable stamp sets. Let me put some color back there. Okay, it's hard to see them. There's a gingerbread house, some uh, swirly things to go around it, and a bunch of cute little sayings. Let's see if it's darker. Can you see it? I think so. You'll see me use some of the stamps shortly. Okay, you also get um, getting the most out of your kit. Just some ideas. Look at those gingerbread cookies. They look so good. I've seen a couple of samples with our old gingerbread punch. This is why you never get rid of your punches, because I could use that now. I'm going to open that up, and of course, we get nice colored tissue paper, which I always save. Love to save that. You can reuse it. Plus, I like the boxes because when people custom order cards, I can turn them inside out and reuse the box. I'm all about recycling. And here is the kit. Yes, thank you. Definitely share my videos. I'm going to tell you why when we're done. So you want to start doing that now. And I'm just going to zip this open so that we can see what we got in here. Okay. So we've got our... We've got these cute, cute, cute little... They look like candy swirls for the gingerbread house. And trust me, they give you enough to do so much with this kit. If you saw my share of Joy of Sharing kit the other day, you know how much they give you. So we got these cute little doodads. 
we got some glue dots we've got two things of dimensionals some tear and tape it's cute little envelopes and here we go we got the gingerbread houses there's three different ones we got the yellow doors we've got the mint macaron doors and then we have the shaded spruce so those are your coordinating colors and also we've got the front of our doors we got all of those plus some extras wait do you see what I did with these I finished it up last night and I couldn't wait to show you these are our die cuts for um, your sentiments of course you have the instructions and they also give you some alternatives on the back so if you're not a paper pumpkin customer and you'd like to be go to the link which will follow this video and you can get your monthly kit delivered to you at your door and then it tells you everything that's in here and the coordinating color. So everything you need. Okay, so that is what's in the kit. Now, let me show you some samples. So when you make them, I'm going to show you how to make one of them. Because once you know how to make one, you'll know how to make all of them. Okay, so let me just grab these. Okay, so here's the first one. And this is the one with the mint macaron. Okay. So you put it together, you get some glue dots there. One of these has, let me see where it is. Okay, here we go. This one right here. Let me pull this out. This is so cool. Okay, so you know last year I made a lot of gift card holder videos. and You can go watch those, um, you know, just watch the replay. So here's the gift card holder, and here's the little envelope. And you just glue up the side. I'm going to show you how to do that. And glue the bottom, and a little... And you can put a gift card in there okay okay that's my loft charge card but you get you get the idea okay and then you can just put that right in here and give that out now if you're part of my family and you don't get gift cards you get scratch-offs and they would fit too okay so that is how you would make the gift card holder and I'm gonna again I'm gonna show you that but then what you can do is you can take the uh, gift card holder and you can cut off those edges and make a tag okay so what you would do and again I'm going to show you that you can make the tag put those back there and you would put that in there and put that on your gift the other thing that you can do is take one of those little puppies cut it in half let me just grab this so you would take again you would take this cut off the edge that would make the tag like that then you can cut it down the center and you can make two tags using the stamps a hole punch and some ribbon all right so I have a lot of those here. I'm not going to show you all of them because they're all basically the same. So you have three ways of doing it. You can make the gift card holder. You can make the tag. And then you can cut it in half and make a tag. Okay. So let's do one of them right now so I can show you. And I will grab, let's see, we'll just grab the yellow one. Okay. So if I was going to make it as a gift card, uh, gift card holder, you fold it in half. You bring in my bone folder. And you would fold that. I'm going to bring in a mat here so I don't get my blotter all messy. All right. And then I'm going to take that tear and tape. It's the perfect size. I'm going to go ahead and put tear tape right here. I'm going to take my glue dots and my take your pick tool which of course I can't find <laughs> I have three of them you think that that would be right here okay well let's just use my scissors and I'm gonna put I'm gonna put three of them right here 
leaving me comments so I know my internet didn't uh, shut down on me. <laughs> it was pretty windy here yesterday. I don't know where my take your pick. I have three take your pick tools. Do you think I could find any of them this morning? Of course not. Okay. All right. I'm gonna take this off. Fold it over, pinch that, and there's the start of your gift card holder. So we're going to bring in, and it really doesn't matter which one you bring in. I mean, you can mix and match these. You can follow the instructions and do exactly which one shows uh, what cover to use, but I'm not that particular because they're all adorable. And I am going to just ink this up. I'm going to use the Blushing Bride, but I'm going to use my large one. And I am going to stamp this. Now I should be using my mat. We know you want to use the mat. Because it's um, photopolymer. You want to get a good crisp image. And just right above that doorway you're going to stamp that down. All right. Then you're going to take the other little curly Q one right above it. Do that. We're going to take one of these. Again, I'm just grabbing them. It doesn't matter to me, which I'm just showing you. Okay, I'm doing a matching one. I'm going to grab one of the sentiments that says Happy Holidays. And I am going to go ahead and just glue that down. Now I'm going to use dimensionals. You're still waiting for your paper pumpkin. Where is that? Wisconsin. I actually got mine early. It said it was coming today. And I got it Tuesday. So I was like, yay. Okay. So there we have. This drives me crazy when I can't find my take your pick tool. But I got my handy dandy scissors with my little charm. I'm on stage center stage. I'm going to just put that right on there. And then grab a couple more dimensionals. You don't want to make it too thick though so it doesn't fit in the envelope. Wait till you see the alternates. Okay. Happy holidays. And then you grab the envelope. You put your gift card in it, or a Ghirardelli chocolate fits in there perfectly, and slide that right in there. So that's how you'd make the gift card. All right. So now, <clears throat> if you wanted to make the tags, you would take this, and I'm going to show you that real quick. Oh, there's my take your pick tool. See, I uncovered it. And take your paper trimmer. Well, and just go like this. I'm just going to show you real quick all of them. Just take off that edge, but keep that. Fold it in half. You would do the same thing. You would stamp that, just like I showed. Put the Happy Holidays. Open it up and put the to and from in there and then stick it in your little envelope. So it would come out looking like this, to and from little envelope, okay? We got that? That's not hard. I just uh, don't wanna waste my time doing that because you have the instructions for that. Okay, now to get two tags, you would do the same thing, cut that piece off, then open it up and slice it right down the middle. Now you can make two tags and the instructions show you how to do this. This one you would use that one for. And then, of course, put a hole. I put holes in them. And put to and from. That's where these little guys come in handy. Because now you can make another tag. There's your first tag. This one you're going to bring in. You're going to bring in your gingerbread house. Okay. Thank you, Vicki. Yeah, definitely let, keep letting me know I'm, I'm good. 
I'm going to bring in my gingerbread house. And you could do this in Memento and color it with blends. For time's sake, I'm not going to do that. So there I have my house. And then um, let's see what I did with this one. This one, we'll just bring in this one. This one I stamped Happy Holidays and put a hole in it. Okay, so let's just do that. Let me grab another color. So I'm going to switch colors here. I know I'm doing this kind of fast, but you get the idea, right? We're going to do Happy Holidays. I'm going to put that right above that. Then I'm going to take some dimensionals. I want to get to the alternate projects before I have to hop on my work computer. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm still good. Thank you, Vicki. Keep me honest. Keep me on track here. Okay. And I would just do that. Then I would take a hole punch. And depending on where you want it, you could punch it right there or you could punch it right here. I would use one of those cute little doodads just to dress it up a little bit. Put you right here. Put that at the top of the house. Add some ribbon, which um, we have the cinnamon cider. Just poke that through. Cut a piece off. Tie it in a knot of any kind. Come on through. It doesn't want to work today. Let's do it this way. There we go. All right. So I should have made it just a tad longer, but I'll get it. There we go. Okay. And then, of course, stamp the back with the to and from. Could stamp it before you do all that. But. So there you have another tag. That's how you can get two tags out of it. All right. <clears throat> All right, let me show you some um, alternatives, and then we'll get stamping those. Okay, so, of course, I showed you the tags. We got all that. <clears throat> One thing I showed on Monday night was I made it. I took our gold box, made a belly band, which was about, t it's 2 inches by 10 inches, wrapped it around, glued it underneath. Then I cut one of the tags in half, put it on the front, a sweet treat for you, and the back part, of the gingerbread house. If you flip over, you use for the back side. <coughs> Excuse me. Isn't that adorable? I love this. So you can make a sweet little treat box. You can slide the belly band off and put some goodies in there. <coughs> These are sugar cookies, but you can put gingerbread cookies in there. You can put candies and give these out for little treats. Look at that. So there's the, again, there's the belly band, and I cut the tag in half. I'll have still shots on my blog and on Facebook later today, stampersdelight.com. The next thing that I did was I took a little treat bag, and we do have the, I think they're three by sixes. This might be a different size. This might be an old one. But I filled it with some chocolates. This is the uh, copper ribbon from the annual catalog. Tied it up and put a little treat. A treat for you is what I used on both of them. And I used the tag. Okay, so I didn't use the envelope. Liking them so far? So that's an alternative, not hard. Just fill it up with candy. Who doesn't like candy? A couple of cards that I've done. Just cute, quick, easy cards using the stamp set and cutting the cutting them up, uh, cutting the gingerbreads up, house up, you can get two cards. Okay, so this is the first card, and of course it's using our um, Snowflake Flake Splendor. And I, I just did it all the same color. You can color that in if you want. You lost the live. Did anybody else lose me? I still show that I'm working. Okay, everything looks up. Everything looks here good here. Okay, Vicky's talking to me, so I guess she can still see me. 
Okay, so that's an, that's one card. Then on the other side, the other part of the car, or the other part of the gingerbread, I used our um, plaid paper. Okay, I'm glad you're back, Peggy. And I did another cute little Christmas card. And you can see I used that little inside trellis part. So that's another card. Okay, now let me show you. I have two things I want to do, so I'm not going to show you those. I'm going to do those in person. I did a scrapbook page. I just had this idea. I used our trimming the town houses in the background and cut one of the gingerbreads in half. And, of course, I put happy holidays. And the back side of the gingerbread house, if you look, this one didn't have uh, the green one. The mint macaron doesn't have uh, a fire uh, a chimney. That's where I used that strip. Remember I said to save that strip, and I made my own chimneys. So this is the front of the house. This is the back of the house. And then that uh, plain white piece that you get with it, I used as my um, journaling part. So this was our first Christmas in our home that we built. Our, our It wasn't our first home, but it was our home that we built. <coughs> Excuse me, let me get a sip of coffee. So this was 1992, and it was the first Christmas in our new home. So I did a scrapbook page with that. <coughs> and you can see that I used um, our So Sentimental... Oh, I got a tickle in my throat. That's terrible. Dies. And I used the larger one. <coughs> Excuse me. I used the larger die, which is still over on my table, to cut these out to put behind the gingerbreads. And then, of course, the I used the negative side for my frames. Okay, so there's another idea for you. Okay, so the next thing I want to show you, and we're going to go ahead and stamp now, is I I did this at, well, I learned this at on stage, and I, uh, oh, there's my piece. It was Rose Marie, I think her name was Guterres. She did a sh fake shaker card, which it was so funny because when she was showing it, I was like, oh, you know what? We can do a fake shaker card. And she showed us that, and it was great. So I call it a faux shaker card. So let me show you that. So there is, again, the Trimming Your Town background paper, one of our uh, clear envelopes. This is our sequins, okay, and it's a fake shaker card. Fake shaker card or faux shaker card. Is that adorable or what? I knew as soon as I saw this and I saw these great little things, I had to try it. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. I'm going to bring in a piece of our Whisper White, and this is, of course, the uh, thick Whisper White. I usually like to use my paper trimmer to score that, but for today, I'm just foregoing that. I'm going to bring in a piece of red cardstock at four by five and a quarter. This is our designer series paper, trimming the town, which is three, three and three quarters by five. This is that large, so sentimental die, and I like that because it had these little edges. And that's going to go right there. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is bring in one of my houses. I'm going to bring in the yellow one. If I can find the yellow ones, there it is. Okay. And I'm going to cut these pieces off. So let's do that. Okay, so I'm going to cut this piece off again. Now remember, once I do, I could use that for something else. I'm going to go ahead and cut that right down the middle. I am going to bring in one of those pieces right here. Pop that out. Okay. 
going to go ahead and grab <clears throat> for this one I think I'm going to grab uh, now I'm using I, you can use different colors okay don't forget you can also use different colors I'm going to use the blushing bride because that's what comes with it I'm going to go right above there stamp that stamp this Oop, goes the other way that out okay now you can use dimensionals on all this I'm just gonna layer it all up with my adhesive if I can find it where did I put that oh my gosh I got two of them and I still can't find them okay well I guess I'm gonna use dimensionals that is so bizarre everything's like already hidden on my table here and I know it's probably right in front of me right anybody see it right in front of me <laughs> oh it there it was right in front of me <laughs> all right so I'm just gonna go ahead and layer this up okay I'm gonna take one of those sentiment pieces you can use any one you want I'm going to do the happy holidays. I could do a sweet treat. Wish, wishing you. Will it fit? No, I'm going to use the happy holidays. And then we'll switch. I'll put the other one on the inside. All right. This is so crazy that I can never find anything once I get stamping. I think I am going to use the... I'm going to switch this. Okay, let me do it this way. Just decided to change it, so I'm going to take the other piece and use the wishing you happy holidays. Wishing you a jolly Christmas. All right. There we go. Now this I am going to, as I call it, bump up with dimensionals. Who doesn't love shaker cards? We all love shaker cards, and this one is so easy to do. I'm going to put that right on there. Bring in this piece that I already cut out from our Daffodil Delight with the So Sentimental Dies. That is in the annual catalog, and I will put that number in later. I'm going to layer these all up now. Gonna layer that right on top here. I'm gonna add a couple of these little guys. So I'm just gonna add like one right here at the doorway, one right here, and something that's gonna show up there, maybe a yellow one. Just one up there, just to add it. Okay, I'm gonna bring in my clear envelope. And I want to make sure that I put that in there where this is going to tuck behind it, okay? You were also doing the same thing. Yeah, just they just go together. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap this tightly around the top. Oop. Would help if I put the uh, glitter in there first, okay? So before you do that, go ahead. I have this in, I kept it in the regular place in these little boxes. And I got this little spoon and I just go and do a little spoon of each one. Then I'll take a look at it and see if there's enough in there. I think there's enough in there. Close that up before it gets all over the place. Now close it up. Tap it down. Get all in, in the front. Get that piece of cardstock down, tuck that back there, and then this piece, what I did is I'm using that, um, I'm using the double-sided, or tear tape, the double-sided tape, this works perfect, okay, so you bend it over this way, right, so you're going to put a strip right here, you can use other um, adhesives, 
or tape, but this is so strong and sturdy, it's going to hold it in place. You were at the point of my screen as if you could see where I was pointing to your adhesive. Okay. <laughs> I knew you would, somebody would do that. So there you go. That's really nice and tight there. Okay. And there's my shaker card. And then you can use your um, stamp and seal. That works. Stamp and seal plus would work. Or you could go ahead and use your um, tear and tape. You want to use something that's strong, okay? And we're just going to adhere that to the front of the card. Ta-da! Look at that. And then, of course, uh, stamp the inside saying. So the inside saying, I'm going to put, I got wishing you a, Mer a jolly Christmas. The inside, I am going to put happy holidays, and I forgot to use my mat. Let me bring that in. This is my old map. And then this is really cool. This is that little piece that goes on the top of the house. Well, guess what? You can use that right above and right below and also for your envelopes. Like that. Look at that. Who wouldn't want this great shaker card? Oh, you missed it on, on stage. Well, now you know how to do it. And it just goes so well, all those little glittery dots, doesn't it? Okay. Okay. So that's another card. Okay, so let's do one more before I have to shoot off to work. And I think you'll enjoy this one too. Now I pre-cut some of the stuff. So let's grab this. Okay, so for this one, I just think trimming the town designer series paper goes so well with these. This is a, re a regular piece of shaded spruce cut in half. I am going to go ahead and fold it. And then it's a Z-fold card, but not quite. And then I'm going to fold that back again. Now I had some leftover paper, designer series paper. And this, of course, is two inches by five and a quarter. That's going to go right there. This one's a little bigger. This one's three by five and a quarter. And that's going to go right there. All right. But before I do that, I'm going to grab a piece of a quarter sheet of white. because that's going to be the inside and that needs does that need to be trimmed down yeah that one a little big so let's see if I have one that's cut the right size they might all be big let's see I pre-cut a lot of these and I leave them next to me this one's all messed up so let's just trim this sometimes when I'm doing a lot of paper yeah this one is not right so let's grab another one Sometimes um, when I'm cutting paper, cardstock, my uh, big guillotine cutter, the arm slides. So let's do that at five and a quarter. So that's four by five and a quarter. And this should fit right on top of there. So I'm just going to put it right like that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and glue that down with my adhesive. And you could leave a little border, if you want, of white. Sometimes I like to do that. It just shows up. Okay. The other one, the other piece, is going to go right here. So we're going to go ahead and glue that down. Remember, i got something really fun to show, tell you when I'm done. Make sure we get that right there. Okay. So this is going to go right inside here. So do you see where I'm going with that? It doesn't have to match up. All right, so that, there you go with that. Okay, so this piece, again, is the So Sentimental dies. And I am going to take, let's find the mint macaron one. Okay. Now this one, you can see that, we got to cut it. I'm going to cut this off. This is so cute. I think this is cute. Okay. So we're going to cut that off. I am going to save this piece and hopefully I don't lose it. Keep me honest. It's right up here. I'm going to cut that in half. Okay. 
I'm going to take that piece and I'm going to cut a piece off like that. I'm going to flip it around. Remember, this one has no chimney. That's what I'm using that side piece for. I'm just going to put a little glue there. Of course, I could put it on the right side. Okay, I don't know which side the chimney should go here. Okay, I'm just going to put a little glue there. And guess what? Now I have a chimney, but I want that up a little bit more. Ta-da! All right. Let, well, I'm going to be using that, but I'm going to put it aside for a minute. So now I'm going to glue this right down on this, that piece that I've already cut off. Okay. I'm going to bring in one of my... One of my little fronts here. Let's use this one. I start out this this desk or table is so nice and neat when I prep everything, and now everything's just all thrown over here. Anybody else feel like they're always cleaning up? That's going to go right here. So let me bring in my ink. You'll see where I'm going with this. Whoop. Bring that in. Did I even? Yeah, I think I did. Yeah, I did. Okay. There we go. All right. So there's the front. We're going to grab some dimensionals. Just put that on there. Everybody still see me okay? Give me a shout out. Let me know. We, it was really windy here in New York yesterday. Put that right there. Okay, let's see. I think I will grab the yellow one. If you don't understand how the floor gets so messy? Yeah, me either. Actually, I do because I just throw things on the floor while I'm working. Okay, I'm using shaded spruce for this. Grab some dimensionals. Years ago, I used to do my classes upstairs in my uh, dining room and living room, and my husband used to always clean up for me. So I used to tell the girls, I'll throw the stuff on the floor, he'll clean it up. Now that I'm in my stamp studio downstairs, he doesn't go down here and clean it for me. Okay, so now we have that piece, right? Okay, so that's going to go right here. When you open it, well, let me just show you something. I'm gluing this down. You don't have to. So here's two ways you can do it. You can do this and make it a Z-fold card, right? Really cute. I'm going to change. I don't want to do that, though. I'm going to glue this down because I don't want that piece to open. This is going to go right here. So when you open it, look, you got that, right? Well, guess what? I'm going to take this piece, and I'm going to layer that right here for the back side. Now, remember this guy, okay? He's going to go back there, and he's going to be the other side of the chimney. So let me just, I want to line this up because I want the chimney to be correct. Let me put a little glue on it first. All right, so I want this to line up. So he's going to go right there. This guy is going to go down with dimensionals. I'm just laying that there for a minute so that I get it lined up, right? You see where I'm going with this, right? This is such a cute set. I love it. Okay. So, again, line him up. And then put this guy right about there. Okay. So, now what you have is you have the front of the house. He's not lined up too great, but you have the front of the house and you have the back of the house. Okay. So, I'm just going to slide that right in there, if I can. Oops. Didn't want to put the dimensionals on there yet. Let me just open that up. you got to wait 
put the dimensionals on it. Okay, so I'm just going to put that right in here. Yeah. Okay, so don't put the dimensionals on yet because we got to put him on the background. <laughs> like, duh. <laughs> okay, so we got to do that first. Then we can go ahead and glue him on there. Make sense? Sorry about that. I got I got carried away. Let's put those right there. Okay, there you go. So there you're putting your little house. And then when you open it, you have that. We're going to grab a piece of Whisper White for the inside. I'm going to just trim that off a tad. This piece is really cockeyed, so we're going to make him a little bit sm smaller so that he is straight or even. Okay, so this one says Happy Holidays. The inside we will have... Have yourself a merry little Christmas or a jolly little Christmas. Grab those little doodads. That one stamp set that I, that one stamp right here. Flip it around. And we have a little Z Fold card. Got those little doodads. So I'm going to grab maybe a green one here. One up here. And maybe one right here. Just to add some little fun to it. So there we have a Z Fold. Little, little uh, thing. Okay. Now for the inside here. I'm going to take one of those plain white ones. Okay. And I'm going to grab the saying that says with love. And just put this right here. So there you have a cute little card. Let me see the here. This was the first one I did. Same thing. Oh, guess look. Did you notice what I just did? I put the wrong piece in there. No worries. Check this out. I can very gently. Darn. That was the way I was supposed to do it. Did anybody catch that? I'll use this for something else. Boy, I definitely need more coffee this morning. Okay, so now we want the wishing you a Merry Christmas. Right there. I knew something didn't look right. And I even had my test card, as I call it, or my test dummy, right there. Okay. There we go. That makes more sense, right? Let's grab some of those doodads. Just add those. Did anybody catch that? It's okay if you did. You know I have to make at least one mistake when I'm live. <laughs> that shows we're human. You were telling me you had the wrong piece. Thanks, Angie. I didn't see that. Okay. So there you go. So that those are my alternatives so far. I'm going to be posting some more. I know that because I'm going to be working on these tonight. So that was the first one I did. Or that to show. This is my Faker Shaker card. We've got... You love the trifold? Yeah, that one's great, Peggy. These are just some sweet and simple stamped ones that I did. I'm bringing them all back in. I will have still shots for you. Then, of course, we got the little treat bag. 
Yes, the fold can be used so many other ways. We have the treat bag. One of my favorites, and now I can eat those cookies with my coffee later, is my little box with the front and the back of the house. Okay. And then, of course, we have all these great tags. This is the tag where you cut that card off. This is the gift card holder, which has the uh, instructions with the kit. We got some more. See, I did one in every color. So we've got gift cards. We've got gift card holders. I mean, look at all this. Look at all this. Okay, so you get the idea. I'm gonna um, when I finish, I'm gonna take some still shots, and I will be uploading of all, all these. So let me show you something here. I haven't done a giveaway in a while. There's rules. I don't need this set because I got two. I always get two paper pumpkins. Okay. So I am going to be giving this one away, but wait, I found some other paper pumpkins. This one has the uh, ink spot. I found some other paper pumpkins. This one was the, um, you're the best. And I actually have two of these. This is that joy, Merry Christmas. I don't know if you remember that. Uh, it wasn't last month. It was the month before, I think, but okay, this one. So I'm going to be giving these away. So I have actually, and you're not going to know which one you get. It's going to be random. One, two, three, and then this one is four. So I have four of these to get to give away. You need to comment, share my video, and then email me and tell me that you'd love one of these. <laughs> okay? Share my video, comment on my video, and then email me. Okay, the reason I say email is because sometimes I don't see all the comments or the um, instant messages. All right. So with that said, let me bring this paper back in so you can jot this down. There is my email, rubberrosy at optimum.net. This is U.S. only. I apologize. I'm sorry to my um, not U.S friends, but, um, I can't send them out. It's just too hard right now. Maybe, maybe someday. Okay. So rubber rose at optimum.net. Email me. Tell me you shared my video. Tell me you left me a comment. Please also do it. Whether you're watching this on Facebook or YouTube and the first four people that do that are going to get these. Okay. No, Megan, I'm sorry. I'm not doing overseas yet. Okay. We are just really printing, dropping them off to the post office. We're not really going into the post office with the numbers rising right now. I hope to be doing that soon. I will let you know. Okay. But we are trying to still keep ourselves um, out of places that are closed and, you know, confined spaces and our, our post office is very small. Okay. So, thank you so much for tuning in, and I hope you have a great day. One of the things that I talked about was I put out there, which do you want to see? Do you want to keep seeing Christmas? Do you want to see some of the new products? Uh, the new products actually um, won. <laughs> so, Monday night on my YouTube Live, I will be featuring one of the new stamp sets. No worries to you you out there that wanted the Christmas sets. I still have some to, to show. So I'm going to probably do a mix for the next couple of weeks. Okay. All right. So you have a great day. You have a great weekend and I will see you back here Monday night on YouTube live at 7 PM Eastern standard time. Keep on stamping stampers. Bye.